Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hey, happy Father's Day to you. Yeah. Not a lot of pictures on the happy Father's Day. That's okay. Uh, you missed Sunday school this morning. We were all together. It was a great time. We talked about how God knows us and knows who we are. And uh, that leads right to what we're going to sing about, that God knows who we are. He is close to us. It's so good. Um, you know, I had a friend recently uh, experienced a loss in their family and spoke to her yesterday and told her to pray for her and the girls. And <laughs> difficult Father's Day for them. But there's a friend that stays closer than a brother. And there's a father to the fatherless. And he loves us. Amen? Amen. Let's stand to our feet and worship our great God together.
for your love that surpasses understanding. Your love that goes beyond what we can imagine. Reaches to the highest height, reaches to the lowest depth. Oh, how great and how wide. How deep is the love of God. It goes beyond our knowledge. It is perfect. Oh, 
so proud of you. I will always be there for you. I love you and Jesus loves you very much. You are a really good kid. Happy Father's Day to all the dads. You're the greatest. Yep, thanks, bye. See you later. Break a leg. If you're still struggling with life in the real world, you're going to love our latest home speaker device. Hey Dad, what kind of pliers should I use on this? Uh, you should be using a wrench. Oh, do I have a wrench? You have three. Ah, oh, thanks Dad. Introducing the Dad Personal Assistant, our newest smart speaker with all the character and compassion of a father. Up and at him, it's a beautiful day. Dad, it's Saturday. Yeah, it's a great day to get outside. It's 6 a.m. Well, then you better get moving before it gets any later. Designed with advanced <laughs> features, the Dad PA connects to all your other smart home devices. Dad, please set the thermostat to 70 degrees. No problem. Setting the thermostat to 68 degrees. Um, no, let's keep it at 70 degrees. Sure thing. Thanks, Dad. We're going to save so much money. He sits with your calendar to help you stay on track. Looks like you're overdue for an oil change. Oh, hey, you're right. Can you schedule one for Friday? I've already got it scheduled. Just don't miss it, okay? <laughs> okay, I won't. <laughs> Seriously, don't miss it. The Dad PA is always watching out for you. Lights on. Oh, hey, it's getting late. I think it's about time for Brad to head home. <clears throat> Dad. The Dad Personal Assistant includes a wealth of knowledge and opinions on a wide variety of subjects. Dad, can you help me with my taxes? Dad, do you know a good mechanic? Hey, Dad, can you tell me a joke? Sure. The joke is one billion dollars. Yeah, I don't get it. That's right. And you never will. Ah, nice one. <laughs> oh, I'm hilarious. Based on God's original design, the Dad Personal Assistant is wise, caring, faithful, and devoted. Don't worry. You've got this. You are the strongest person I know. You have made me so proud. You are God's child, and you don't need anyone else to complete you, especially not Brad. <laughs> really, Dad? I'm just saying, there's other fish in the sea. Okay, wow. The Dad Personal Assistant. Always thoughtful, always dependable, and always there for you. God, the Father that I have, Lord God, the, my father-in-law, Lord God, all these men, Lord God, that you put in my life, Lord God, to lead and set a way, to set examples, Lord God, Lord. Lord, I pray, God, for each one here, Lord God, that we continue to set examples, Lord God, for those that are following in our footsteps. 
Those that are watching, our way for God, I pray, God, that we don't lead them astray, but lead them directly to you, Lord. God, that they seek your face on their own, Lord God, each and every day. Lord, that they have a hunger for you, Lord, like we need a hunger for you each and every day. God, we thank you for this day and ask you to bless us, Lord, with your presence in a special way. In Jesus' name, amen. the nerve for you when you're just riding down a road or you go into a store or whatever and I think Ty, uh, Landon said he, he likes the smell of like woodworking you know somebody cut fresh cut wood and Courtney said uh, Trina, Trina said something about baking and coffee, coffee well for me my stop in my tracks aroma there's a smoker. If I'm driving down the highway and I pass a barbecue joint and they're cooking it right, I can I can make a U-turn. Okay? I can find some time to put it in my schedule. Okay? So as a father, okay, I like to eat. Okay, and I like brisket and barbecue. So it's gonna be a unique day for us to tie this together. Just bear with me. Uh so, part of cooking barbecue, brisket in particular, I think Carlisle has cooked a few of these, so you can help me out here, Carlisle. It isn't fast. It's not fast. You, you don't go up to Dad and say, I want brisket for supper tonight at four o'clock in the afternoon. Not in him make it, not in be home made. It's some planning involved, okay? It's a slow process. The larger the brisket, the longer it takes. Literally 16, 17 hours, depending on how large it is, okay? But the thing I want you to focus on is low and slow, okay? Low and slow. So a couple of weeks ago, I'm reading in morning, my morning devotion, and I'm going to, I did, I did the, big, the book flip. I prayed. Lord, you, you, you show me where to read today. Like I said, I, normally right now I've been reading in Romans or I'm reading in Isaiah. Well, today I was like, I'm just going to, I, I'm opening the book, and I hit Zechariah. I don't read Zechariah. That isn't my go-to book. You know what I mean? It's just, it's not there. But this day, it was like, read this chapter. Some of y'all might not believe in that, but I'm here to tell you, I wouldn't go to Zechariah to pick out a chapter. That is my, that my thing. But it went to Zechariah chapter 13, Verses 7 through 9. In verse 7, it says, Awake, O sword, against my shepherd, against the man who stands next to me, declares the Lord of hosts. Strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be scattered. I will turn my hand against the little ones. 
Does that sound real positive? Does it? And I was like, why am I here? This is where it was at. This, re this is also referenced in Matthew 26 and 31. When Jesus was talking to the disciples, he said, this very night, you will all fall away on account of me. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. So this is a prophecy. That's what we're reading about in Zechariah. About what's going to happen with Jesus. And how all the people that's been following him are getting ready to be tried. Okay, Jesus is going to go through the trial of the crucifixion. But he warns his disciples, trial's on the way. It's going to end. Okay. So, as I kept reading these, it's just these few verses, it says, verse 8, it says, In the whole land, declares the Lord, two-thirds shall be cut off and perish and one third shall be left alive think about the odds 33% 66% with a percent in between okay three people on a pew back there where I sit right now one stays two gone not real good odds okay and I'm not trying to preach a doom and gloom remember low and slow Okay, low and slow. But I want to be clear about something. Which portion do we want to be in today? We want to be in the one third. We want to be the ones that are still following the Lord throughout this journey. Okay? And also the thing I want us to realize is the two thirds is the majority. Okay, so we don't specifically need to be following the majority. We're going to be part of the, the small voice, the minority on this earth. Okay, so here's, here's verse 9. And I will put this third into the fire. If it wasn't bad enough, that we're going to get scattered. The ones that stay are going to be put in the fire. Think about that. It's like, wait a minute, I, I stayed. I stayed. I'm held true. But you're going to put me through the fire anyway. And the rest of the scripture says, and refine them and refine them as one refined silver and test them as gold is tested. They will call upon my name and I will answer them. I will say, they are my people and they will say, the Lord is my God. Okay. We are being refined as gold and silver to remove the impurities to what we have in us. So he can say, they are my people. So how am I going to wrap this up in with, with dads and briskets and barbecues? Okay? We're in a crunch time right now. At my work, it's a crunch time right now. Things are going on at my work to where it's in your face. It's bold. Sin is bold. Sin is strong. My God is strong. And that's what my, my whole topic today is. It's not an instant fix. It's not a drive through. It's low and slow. And we've got to hold on. It's a battle that we're all going to face. They're going to try to change your mind. They're going to try to do whatever they can do 
to get you to absorb what they have. But we've got to stay in the cause. And we will be tried by the fire. So, I know, I know, this is super short and sweet. I'm not, I'm not going to just add living up here. But I'm just going to say that today, I want us to just stand and pray for each other as we wrap this up. Because we're not going to have Sunday night prayer service tonight. Okay? But I want us to pray for each other today in a special way. Because each one of us in this room, just like Sister Valerie, has got a special need in some way, shape, or form. And tonight we won't get on our call. But we need to be just like that brisket that has to stay in that fire low and slow. If the brisket sits in there by itself in my house, we're not by ourselves in here. And that's the main thing. It's kind of like Karen touched on a few of these things today. And Isaiah, the Lord has our name engraved on his hand. Think about that. Not a one of us does he not know. If you're a child of God, he knows the hairs on your head. He knows the struggles that you're going through today. And it's just like, it's just like, don't be mad at me, Trina. But it's just like she was extremely nervous today. She did a great job. Yeah. She did a great job. And I ain't gonna lie to you. I've been praying for her. Because I know it ain't easy to stand right here. It, it is. Les makes it look easy. He does. It's a challenge to be here. Jenny, you know what it's like. When you stand up here, it's different. When you stand up here, you're standing in the faces of people that are looking, helping, hoping that you can help them. And that's what I want our prayers to be about today. Not so much about me, but about you and you and you. Because the Word tells us to care for one another. Treat someone like you want to be treated. I want people praying for me right now. There's decisions that are on my plate that are coming. I need help with it. And I know the Lord can. It says Adam is playing something softly. If you would have just stand. And let's just pray together. And give God thanks, first of all, that he sent his son to die on a cross that would prove that would prove who had staying power and who didn't have staying power. I'm praying for staying power for every one of us today because there's plenty of things out there that's trying to break that staying power. So as we pray, pray for one another. Our gracious and heavenly Father, God, we come to you humbly this morning, knowing, Lord God, that you see our hearts, Lord. God, you see the struggles, Lord, you see the burdens, Lord, that we all face, God, today. God, you know those that are sick, that need a touch in their bodies. Lord, I would want somebody praying for me, Lord. God, if I had an illness, Lord, that needed to be cured, that needed to be healed, Lord. God, I pray, God, today for those needs, Lord. God, I pray for the loved ones, Lord God, that are around these in special needs, Lord, today. God, that you would wrap your arms around them, Lord. God, that you would comfort those, Lord, today as only you can comfort, Lord. God, I can't say enough words to comfort a soul, to comfort a heart, Lord. But God, you can touch a soul. God, you can touch a heart, Lord. God, in a mighty special way. And God, it's not a fast process, Lord. God, we know that it is your timing, Lord. 
God, that we must use, Lord, not ours, Lord. God, it's not on our wrist watch, Lord. God, what we live by, Lord, with God, yours. God, it's on your time schedule, on your time frame, Lord, of God, what you bless and what you take away, Lord. God, we pray, God, today, Lord, that you would move on, Lord, God, our young people, Lord, today. God, you know the needs that they're facing, those that are getting ready to go off to college, Lord. God, that you would touch their bodies today. God, touch their minds and strengthen them, Lord. God, we pray that they would get solidified in you, Lord. God, as they make this journey, God, I pray, God, for my pastor, God, I pray today that you touch his body. God, that you would strengthen him, Lord, in a special way. Lead him and guide him, God, as only you can. Lord, I pray for Sister Glenda that you would be with her, Lord, God, today. Lord, you know the needs that she has, Lord, this, this morning. God, I pray, Lord, God, for all the requests that we have, Lord. God, that's written down in our notes, Lord, God, in our homes, Lord. God, for the requests that are there. God, we pray for the families that's lost loved ones this week, Lord. God, we pray, God, that you would console them and comfort them, God, as only you can. Lord, we know that you're on the throne, Lord. God, we know that you're mighty and powerful, Lord. God, you know that you're purifying our souls, Lord, right now, through our trials, Lord. God, it's through our trials that we're made stronger. And God, I pray today that we'd all be strengthened, Lord, by your word, Lord, by your spirit, God, as only you can. And God, I pray, God, that we can be in your presence. For God, your aroma, Lord, God, today, where you are in the midst, Lord, God, in each home, Lord. Not just here, Lord. It's not just about being in this building. But, God, it's the lifestyle that we live. It's the home that we build, Lord, God, one with another. God, that we dwell with you, God, today. Lord, we pray that you would move on hearts and lives, Lord. God, of lost loved ones, Lord, that we all have, Lord. Lost friends, Lord. God, they need a touch from heaven, Lord. God, we praise you today. God, we give you honor and glory for what you're doing. God, what you've done, Lord. And God, what you've got on the road for us ahead. God, we thank you, Lord, for your sitting in a comforter, Lord. God, when we were so lost and alone, Lord, God, in our deepest night, you sent someone, Lord, God, to care for us, Lord. God, you sent somebody, Lord, God, to hold us, to hug us, to love us, Lord. God, in our deepest moments, Lord, our darkest moments, Lord, we're never, never alone, Lord. God, there's not a thought that we have, Lord, God, like the lesson was this morning. There's not a thought we have that you don't know about, Lord. God, there's not a sense of any of our senses, Lord, that you don't know, God, what we're going through. God, we praise you, Lord, for letting us be here this morning. Lord, we pray, God, that you let us be what you'd have us to be and do what you'd have us to do. God, you're an awesome and mighty God. God, we worship you today. Lord, we praise you today for what you're doing, Lord. God, we know that you're on the move, Lord. God, we know that you're on the move, Lord. We thank you today. We thank you today for all that you're doing, Lord. Lord, we pray, God, that you'd be with us, Lord, in a special way. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, Lord we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Jesus, we praise you, Lord God, today. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, let us stay in the fire, Lord, not get out. God, let us realize, Lord God, what we're going through, Lord. God, it's only made to make us stronger, Lord. God, it's only to make us stronger, Lord, when we have to go through what we go through. God, it makes us stronger, Lord. God, we praise you for that. God, we honor you for that today. God, the things that we don't understand, Lord, God, we put it in your hand, Lord, because we know in your hand, Lord, it's all right, Lord. God, we thank you today. We thank you today. Lord, we praise you, Lord. We praise you. We praise you. God is so good. God is so good. He is so good. And I realized this was this was real fortunate. But it's what the Lord laid on my heart. He even laid the barbecue part on my heart. I thought it was weird. I thought it was weird. I was like, Lord, I don't know how I'm going to tie this together. <laughs> but I thank the Lord that he, he does something in his own way. Not the way we would think we'd only do it, but in his way. And 
I am so thankful for his blessings. Now before we leave, I'm gonna put up, I'm gonna put up a dad joke. Okay? So last slide. A kid, a cow, a pig, and a chicken walk into a barbecue. The end. <laughs> Y'all have a blessed Father's Day. Appreciate y'all being here. Y'all take care. We'll see you Wednesday night on Zoom call.